Tyler Speedy here of Tyler Trades. If you guys love all the content that I'm giving you guys so I can make some more videos, like this video, comment on it, so that way I know that you guys like everything. So I'm going to teach you guys today, you know, a strategy that I use a lot and, you know, I'm going to use it for swing trading. I'll show you guys how to use it long term, how, how to use it for like a 365 day the time basis and duration. So I'm going to show you guys how to successfully use impulse and correction with US dollar currency index as our example. So we can see since 2017, the dollar index has pretty much topped out. And when Trump took office, for some reason, the dollar kept been going down, coming up, coming down, going out. Now, how do you be able to find the, the way to continue these patterns? I'm just drawing these out for you guys so you guys can see. So how do you guys find a way to continue on with a trend? So first things first, we need to figure out where the overall trend was going. So like typically right here, you wouldn't have been able to find that until it broke this, but you could have you could have found some different other ways to get in before. So we see that the dollar index is pretty much topped out, went down, came up, went back down. So the way it's like this, you have an impulse followed by a correction, followed by another impulse again. So if we go ahead and delete that, it can look something like this. Impulse followed by correction, followed by impulse. Now, this correction can go further and further and further and further. That's all a matter of time. And sometimes you guys can use um, you guys can use Fibonacci as well. I'll go over that in a different video. But right now, you can see we have a correction. So you can see the impulse, followed by the correction, goes back down, retest, then goes, then boom, there we are. We're right there. So price broke through, and we could have took a sell, a sell. Let's go ahead and fix that. We could have went ahead and took a sell position right here when price broke. And I would have had my stop loss inside of the flag, somewhere up there, probably above the high of the weekly candle. Now, if we would have took a sell right there, and I don't want to take the whole thing, we could have made about 150, 180 pips, which is really good. But you can see the whole point of this, if you go ahead and look at the daily, You can see everything. So you can see right here, another correction. This one's a deep correction. Here we have another correction, not so deep. I wouldn't really call this a correction. But you can see here, we have another deep correction. And you can see it meets on different points during the entire line. If I take this line away, I threw it back. See how it tests the trend line multiple times? That's not ready to go. That's not ready to go. This isn't ready to go. Finally, it breaks through. And then we go again. I'd prefer to enter beneath these previous lows right there. I mean, if you're going to trade these, you're going to look for short-term volatility trades as well. You might have to get in, might have to get out. I mean, of course, I don't like to let a winner turn into a loser. But you guys see the point. If we come down here, it hasn't been able to break that low. Whoops. It hasn't been able to break that low. I was waiting for price to break 88. Never broke 88. I never entered the trade because I don't want to go ahead and enter a trade if it's been going down entire year we just have the sideways action right here it's broke past its previous high now i can expect this to be coming around somewhere around like 95. so when you're trading these wait for the impulse when you're trading the correction wait for it to break